morning, boys and girls. We're so glad you could join us on this Sunday morning. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna just jump right in with a word of prayer. She will be praying this morning, so go ahead. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for my family and friends, and thank you for all the wonderful things we have. Amen. Amen, that was a great prayer, thank you. Okay, so boys and girls, stand up. Get your wiggles out, we're gonna do some worship songs. Moms and dads, feel free to join in too. portion of our morning time together don't we and so this week we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna learn about um, Elijah the prophet so boys and girls sit back and enjoy stories of the Bible Elijah in the wilderness this is Elijah Hello. Elijah was a prophet in Israel during the reign of King Ahab this is King Ahab. Eh, whatever. He came from a line of kings who did bad things, but King Ahab was the worst of them all. King Ahab and his wife Jezebel stopped following God and worshipped a fake god called Baal. Elijah's job was to tell the people of Israel and King Ahab to stop worshipping Baal and to worship God again. But King Ahab and Jezebel didn't like what Elijah had to say, or that he proved to everyone that God was more powerful than any other god. Elijah made Jezebel so angry that she wanted to kill him. She sent him a message saying, May the gods strike me and even kill me if by this time tomorrow I have not killed you. Elijah was terrified and ran away. <gasps> he went to a town and he left his servant there. Go on. Then he went on alone into the wilderness. He sat down under a tree and prayed that he might die. He said, I have had enough, Lord. Then he lay down and fell asleep. But as he was sleeping, an angel touched him and told him, Hi. Get up and eat. He looked around and there beside his head was some bread baked on hot stones and a jar of water. Whoa! So he ate and drank and then laid down again. The angel of the Lord came again and touched him and again said, 
Uh oh. Get up and eat some more, or the journey ahead will be too much for you. So he did, and it gave him the strength to get up and continue on his way to a place called Mount Sinai. Later, Elijah would do what God wanted him to and would tell the people of Israel to follow God again. Okay, wasn't that a great story? Yeah. Okay, so the story was about Elijah and he was a prophet, correct? Correct. Okay, and he lived during the time of the king that ruled, his name was what? King Ahab? Ahab. And he was married to? Jezebel. Jezebel. Right? And they were, uh, King Ahab was not a good king. He came from a long line of rotten kings. But he was the worst king. He, he was the worst king. And he st they stopped worshiping God, and who did they worship? They worshiped an idol, right? Named Baal? Baal. And uh, Elijah's job was to tell the Israelites, hey, guys, we, we cannot worship Baal, right? You're not to bow down. You're only to bow down to God. You're only to worship God, right? Yeah. And that made who so very angry? Um, Je Jezebel. Jezebel made the queen very angry, didn't it? She got a little bit of a temper to her. And so she sent someone. She wanted Elijah dead, right? So she sent someone. And Elijah was like, I'm not doing this anymore, right? And he took off, right? He ran away. And he sent his uh, helper. He sent him to a city. And Elijah went to the wilderness, right? Wilderness. And what did he do in the wilderness? He found a tree and he... Laid down. He laid down underneath the tree. And he was like, God, I'm not doing this anymore. He wanted to what? He just wanted to go. He just wanted to be done. He didn't want to have to do it. He didn't want to have to, to fight anymore against um, Ahab, the king. So he went to sleep. And what happened? An angel came and, it, and it, he tapped him. He tapped him. He woke him up. And he was like, hey, you've got to, you got to get up. you got to eat. you got to build up your strength. you got to do what God wants you to do, right? So he ate and he felt nourished. And then what happened? He went back to sleep and then he tapped him again. The angel came back and tapped him again and was like, hey, rise and shine. Eat some food. And, and he ate again. So this time after he ate, he had enough energy and enough strength and he went, right, to Mount Sinai, yeah. right? And there he um, told the Israelites, he did what God called him to do and he told the Israelites, hey, enough is enough. We are only to worship God, right? Yes. Right. So the moral of the story is what? We always, like Elijah, God I might not be calling us to the top of a mountain to tell a whole group of people to stop worshiping Baal, but each day God has given us something to do, right? He's called us to do something, and it is our job, boys and girls, and moms and dads, and whoever else is watching, and it's our job, A.B., to follow what God has called us to do, right? Very good. Now the other thing to the story is we never want to worship anyone or anything but God, right? God. We don't want to bow down and praise the name of someone else. We don't want to uh, uh, pray to someone else. We always want to worship God. We are to have no other idols before God, right? Yeah. And sometimes we don't even realize it, but there's things in our lives that we love that we might put on a, a higher platform than God, and we, we don't want to find ourselves doing that. We always want to put God first, right? Above all of our, our family, our friends, above everyone. It's God is, is first, right? Okay, so we hope you enjoyed that story, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're gonna jump right into our next uh, segment. Now, this one is going to be our last segment of worship, right? And we want moms and dads to stand up with our friends. God made me, He made everything God loves me, He can do anything If I run over here, if I run over there God is everywhere, and He loves me When I look up, 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 I know He's real When I look down Search for him, he rewards me Cause he loves me God made me, he made everything God loves me 
me, he can do anything If I run over here, if I run over there God is everywhere and he loves me When I look up, 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 I know he's real When I look down, 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 I believe what I found When I look in God's word and I search for him He rewards me Cause he loves me When I look up, up, up I know he's real When I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for him He rewards me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me me. And sing along and dance 